hallelujah glory to god you are welcome to prophetic intercession with amel always a privilege each time i am here to give you a prophetic message if this is the first time you are seeing me a special welcome to you and thank you so much for stopping by i pray that god will use this channel to minister to you continuously in the mighty name of jesus god bless you if this is the first time you are coming please kindly subscribe if you're yet to do that and do not forget to turn on your notification bell god bless you in the mighty name of jesus amen their big secret is out. They thought no one will ever know. Their big secret is out and they thought no one would ever know about it. You know, sin lies in secrecy. And there are certain things that people do in the secret and they are hoping that no one will ever know about it. They are hoping that it will just end in the secret. There are certain things that um, people will do everything, but there is God. There is God who is the revealer of all secrets and he can reveal it to you. Yes, he can reveal it to you and when you tell the person that was hiding it, they are going to be in shock. The same thing happened to Daniel. The Bible says that in the book of Daniel chapter 2, yes, the king had a dream and he called on all the wise men on the land. Now, he did not just want them to interpret his dream like Joseph did with um, Pharaoh, but he wanted his dream to be told to him. Like he wanted someone that would tell him what he dreamt about and now interpret it. That was quite a difficult one. And all the wise men in that place, nobody could even, you know, no one could even decode it. And so the king was so furious. As a matter of fact, his king's men told him that was impossible. There is no one that can ever tell you your dream when you were not there while you were dreaming and give you the, 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 the explanation. He got so angry that he sent men to kill all the wise men you know, in the, in the land. And Daniel was among them. When they had sent, they were all bound and ready to be killed. And Daniel asked the chief that the head army that was there to destroy them, like, why, why is the king angry? What is happening? And he told him what was going on. And he said, take me to the king. He went to the king and he told the king, please give me some time and I'll come back to you with answers. And so Daniel chapter 2 and verse 22 says, now, this is a time where God has already revealed it to him. He says, he re God had already revealed it to Daniel. So now, verse 22 says, he reveals profound mysteries beyond man's understanding. He knows all hidden things, for he is light and darkness is no obstacle. Another Bible version says that he reveals all sacred things. You might consider it to be a secret, but when God is involved, there is no obstacle. There is no darkness. That is what verse 22 says. He says that, for he is light and darkness is no obstacle to him. There is nothing that someone has kept in the innermost of their being that God cannot have an access. God can have an access and give you that secret that this person has been keeping for you for the longest time possible. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.